I'm Shannon Thrasher and this is 30 Second Tactics. Today we're back out on the range. Uh, it's a little windy. I apologize if that's coming through on the video. Uh, today we're going to shoot the AR and uh, see what, if anything, we get in point of impact changes for different ammo. It's a few different brands and different uh, ammo weight. We'll be shooting a 55 grain ball, 55 grain soft point, 62 grain green tip, uh, some everyone's favorite Tula steel cheapo ammo, and then some 75 grain Hornady. And like I said, we'll shoot them uh, individual groupings and just see where that does on the same gun on the same day with the same shooter, how the ammo is affecting your point of impact. So we'll start out with a 55 grain ball. All right, let's see how we did. All right, I'll give you guys a quick look at each target from each ammo as we shoot it, and then we'll talk about them all together at the end. Here's the 55 grain full metal jacket. All right, now a 55 grain soft point. And here's the 55 grain soft point. 62 grain green tip. Here's the 62 grain full metal jacket, the green tip. Now everybody's favorite economy round, the old uh, Tula. Used to be cheap, you now it's cheaper. And here's the uh, cheapo bargain basement Tula steel case. And lastly, the 75 grain Hornady match ammo. So if this doesn't group well, I guess it's my fault. And here's the 75 grain Hornady match ammo. So I know if I don't say it, someone's going to ask. The barrel is the uh, 18 inch 1 and 8 twist DFMS. So obviously the barrel and especially the twist is going to make a difference on how it treats different ammo. But this is what we're using today. And this is the results we got. So the 55 grain ball, our control group if you will, is a 2.3 inch group and it's pretty much dead center on target if you look at the average of that grouping. Our 55 grain soft point, tiny bit smaller if you don't count that flyer, which I'm not gonna, I'm gonna blame that on me, not the ammo. Uh, we got a 2.25 inch group. It's about an inch to the right and about an inch high when you look at the average of that group. Now our 62 grain, apparently uh, that rifle doesn't like 62 grain. We spread out to about 3.1 inch group and it's about an inch and a half high and about a half inch to the right of our control group. Now our super cheap Tula ammo, 
did pretty good. Got a 1.8 inch group and it's just about an inch low. So sometimes the cheap ammo works out. And lastly, our match ammo actually matches the group size for our Tula, but as far as uh, uh, closer zero to the uh, control group, that's going to be your closest one, three-quarter inch low and a half inch uh, left. Or, I'm sorry, three-quarter inch left and a half inch low. Um, so I think we made the point that, uh, and this ain't so much about the groups as it is where the groups are moving around. You can have the same rifle, the same shooter on the same day, and different weight ammo, different brand ammo is going to change your point of impact. Now, is, you know, two inches a huge difference at 100 yards for most people? No, but it's probably something you need to know about what your gun's going to do with what ammo. All right. Guys, I really hope you liked that video. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share these videos. Uh, get down to the comments section, guys. Let me know what you think. Ask questions. I'm here for you. Uh, let me know what you want for the next videos. And as always, guys, work, train, repeat. Stay safe.